Welcome back. My name is Lauren and this is Purpose Filled You, a channel focused on planning, goal setting, and personal development. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to prioritize like a pro. In this day and age, we all have cell phones, emails, and it is so easy for our attention to be pulled a hundred different directions and it is up to us to be able to take control of the time in our days and prioritize what we need to get done in order to make the most of the time we have on this earth. If this sounds interesting to you, then keep on watching. about you, but for me, my day is constantly filled with tiny little distractions. I have a business email that goes off all the time. I have text alerts and social media alerts that vie for my attention. I have a toddler who's constantly asking for things. There is just stuff in my life that is asking for my attention and distracting me from what I am currently working on. So today I want to talk with you a little bit about how we can prioritize our time. Um, and try to keep all of those little distractions at bay so that we can make sure that we take ownership of the things we actually want and need to get done in a, single, in a given day in order to work towards our long-term goals. In today's video, I want to give you a couple tips and tricks for you to be able to know how to prioritize the things in your life and be able to weed out the things that may be distractions for you so that you can focus more intently on the bigger, more important things in your life. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to make sure that you don't prioritize easy. I have a video, I can link it in the cards, about um, how to make a to-do list for a day. And one of the things that I have on my to-do list is, are the boring things, the doing the laundry, the cleaning the dishes, the, the stuff that has to get done, but it's not super exciting. Those things are easy, relatively speaking. And so if you, in your to-do list, in your day, in your life, if you prioritize easy, yes, you're going to check off a lot of things on your list, but that, that big thing, that one big thing that needs to get done, you're not going to get to because you've been doing all this easy stuff and you're not actually making progress towards anything substantial. You're just keeping the status quo. So what you really need to do, and I've mentioned it in that video, that you need to prioritize progress. Prioritize that one thing, that one big thing, highlight it in your to-do list, make sure that that is your priority for the day so that you are moving towards something bigger. The next thing that is really hard to do but is a very useful tool is to make sure that you stop prioritizing other people's small emergencies. This is especially true if you are own, if you own a business or if you're an entrepreneur. You constantly get things in your inbox and your private messages that are questions from other people, um, requests, things of that nature. And yes, your customers are important. Your, the people in your life are very important, but you don't have to respond to those things as soon as you see them in your inbox. Like you get that message and you feel obligated to respond right away with the correct answer. But if you're in the middle of working on a very important project, it's okay to silence your cell phone for that one hour while you're working on that important thing and to check those messages later. Another great tip that I have for you is knowing the difference between something that is urgent and something that is important. This kind of goes back to the other people's emergency things. There are things in our life that feel urgent that feel like they need to be done right now because they are asking our attention right now. But those things, unless they are like so urgent that they are life threatening, they don't have to get done that very moment if there is something that is more important than that thing. So urgent might be like, I really wanna eat a snack right now or something. But is there something more important that would take up that same amount of time that you can just bust out real quickly and the important thing gets done first and then you can get to those other things that are urgent but aren't life altering? A great example for you to visualize for this urgent versus important concept is the Eisenhower matrix. And so I will overlay a picture of it for you right here. This is a four quadrant section that is on one side of the 
quadrant is important and on the other side is urgent and then they overlap where the, the things that are urgent and important need to get done right now. And then on the exact opposite side of it, the not urgent and not important are things that you just need to stop doing. But there are still things that are important but not urgent which need to be put on your schedule and planned for so that you will get to it. And then there are things that are urgent but not important that you need to maybe delegate to somebody else or move onto the back burner for a later date. So this is a really great um, process for you to kind of go through if you have a lot on your to-do list and it's starting to become overwhelming. This is a great system for you to start learning how to prioritize all those different things in your life. The last thing I want to leave you with is the concept that we all have 24 hours in the day. None of us are unique. None of us have more time than anybody else. And it is up to us to take ownership of those 24 hours. I've, I've mentioned this before, perhaps in a video, definitely on my social media accounts about how it is so important for you to take ownership of the time that you spend. And it is, it is up to you to decide what's important to you. If you want something to be important to you, you will make time for that thing. Just know that whatever it is that you want to do with your life, you can totally do it. It is up to you how you wanna spend your 24 hours. So if you want to keep on this train of priorities and important things, I highly suggest you hit the subscribe button because next week I'm going to share some pitfalls that all of us struggle with, those time wasters that just take up our time without us even realizing it, and different alternatives to those time wasters, ways that you can get them out of your life or ways that you can find alternatives for those things. Um, all of that is going to be in next week's video. So we will see you then. Until next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye.